Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Stacy Chacon and in this video I'm gonna send us through a crash course in color mixing to create a color wheel. Uh, two of them actually. <laughs> um, I'll start with a traditional set of primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, um, and mix secondary and tertiary colors and I'll explain kind of what all that is as we're going. And then I'll also work with complementary colors, mix those together to create a wide range of neutrals, kind of earth tones. Um, after the first one, I'll do a brighter variation color wheel, the one on the left here, uh, using brighter primary colors. So more of a pink, a brighter yellow, a brighter blue, and that's gonna give us a brighter finished product. So I'll go over a few color theory concepts along the way related to the color wheel, but the real fun of this video is going to be learning how to mix a lot of colors using only three primary colors. I've got a worksheet for you linked below. I'll explain that as we get into the video, but if you want to go grab that, um, go ahead and download that, print it out to have handy. But otherwise, Grab your paint, grab your brushes and paper, and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I've already drawn out a worksheet for myself, and I actually made a printable worksheet if you wanna print one out. Um, mine, I just hand drew the circle. I traced my water cup and then divided it into 12 equal sections just with a ruler and kind of eyeballing it, guessing it. If you want more precise, feel free to print out, download and print out this worksheet. Depending on your printer, you could probably print right on your watercolor paper. That's totally fine. Um, for supplies, I've just got my Princeton Heritage size six brush, my Magello watercolors, and a mixing tray. This is pretty stained, but it's clean. Um, scrubbed it as good as I could, but it's had a lot of wear and tear. So I'll have a mixing tray handy and I've got my watercolors. So the, this particular color wheel is going to be a tertiary color wheel. So that means it's going to include our primary colors, which are yellow, red, and blue, and secondary colors, which are orange, violet, and green and then tertiary which means yellow orange red orange red violet blue violet blue green we'll get into all that as as we start mixing oh i'm also going to make two of these with you guys just so you can see the the variance between a traditional kind of rich three primary colors and then i'm going to kind of modernize it with some brighter uh, primary colors to begin with. So for my first one, I'm gonna be using permanent yellow, or sorry, permanent yellow light, permanent red, and cobalt blue. And those are our three primary colors. Primary meaning the riches, like you can't mix two colors together to produce um, these primary colors. So I'm coming right in. And I'm gonna put yellow at the top of my color wheel. I'm just filling that whole wedge in So that's the first primary color and that is permanent yellow light in the mission gold series if you're using Windsor you might want to just use um, oh maybe a cadmium yellow cadmium is a little red though um, maybe Windsor lemon 
or any any yellow that you have in your set. Um, next we'll do red, permanent red. I want to check my chart to make sure I've got the right red. So from permanent yellow, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is my permanent red. Need a little more water. Permanent red. closer to that one. And now for my blue, uh, might as well keep some water on that. Um, for my blue, I'm gonna do cobalt blue. And that is here. The very bottom edge of my palette. I don't even know if that's in view for you all. All right, so our first triad is down. I'm trying to make sure my consistency is the same so that I'm using the same amount of pigment in each of my wedges here. dark on the edge of that one but it's okay okay so that's the first three not the first three that is the three three primary colors yellow red and blue so in color theory we move from primary to secondary colors and secondary are when or you make secondaries from when you mix two primary colors so if you think back to your primary days, ha, <laughs> primary, see what I did there? Learning color theory, maybe back in elementary school, yellow, <laughs> yellow and red makes orange, red and blue make violet or purple, but for the sake of Roy G. Bibb, if you learned that one, violet and yellow and blue make green so to mix these my palette's already my regular palette is already a bit dirty so i'm going to use a clean palette so we can see together what i'm doing here so i'm going to yeah wash that really good because it still had blue on it i'm going to come over to my palette and i'm going to make myself a few little buckets few little wells of my primaries so that I can mix them right on this mixing tray. I'm starting to need more, um, more paint in my palette. All right, that should be enough to get us going with the yellow. And my permanent red. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. 
I'm just going back and forth, picking it up from one palette and putting it on the other. And put a little water in with that just so it can beat up a little more. Okay. So I'm going to, where's my paper towel? Paper towel to blot off my brush a little bit. I'm going to pick up yellow, put some in here, rinse my brush, pick up red, about the same amount. Nope, that's not the same amount. We can get equal amounts there. I want to make sure we get a nice orange. Let's go a little more, a little more yellow. There we go. So my first secondary color I'm making is orange. Oh, that's so much better with the palette out of my way. I want to show you guys everything, but I just don't have the space to spread out like I would like to when I'm filming these. Okay. So that's a nice orange. Okay. So now we'll mix red and blue. So I'm going to come back over to my palette, move it over so you can see. Have some blue, put blue right here. My brush, pick up a little more. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and leave two dots in the blue there. Rinse my brush really well. Pick up my red. Getting a little more blue on that, so I'm gonna there we go. So red and blue is violet. They were a secondary color, a second secondary color. All right, and now we have blue and yellow, which will make green. So my brush is washed. I'm gonna pick up my blue, drop some here. Wash my brush. Pick up yellow. Pick up a little more yellow. I just dirtied my yellow, so I'll keep that in mind when I do my tertiaries. Uh, so we have blue and yellow makes green. That is a pretty green. And this is just, I mean, color wheels are a great tool to have. Um, and there's hundreds and th probably thousands of um, videos and art lessons on color theory. So if that is something you're interested in, color theory, color psychology, um, Definitely research 
that. But what I was gonna say is this shows that if you only have the three primary colors, if all you have is a tube of a pure red, a pure yellow, and a pure blue, you can pretty much mix the entire rainbow, um, which we, we are doing. Okay, so I said I'd come back to this yellow because I've mixed green in it. So now we'll do our tertiary colors. And tertiary colors are produced when you mix a primary color with a secondary color. And when you say the name of that color, you typically say the primary color first and then the secondary color. So if I mix yellow and green, which I've pretty much done right here in my palette already, I need to pick up some more yellow there. Um, yellow and green will be called yellow green. It makes a yellow green. And that's it, but I want to bring in a little more of that green. There. So I have this yellow green. My brush is drying out. brush is drying and my paper I think with the weather we've had lately it's made the air humid so my paper actually is behaving a little differently um okay so that's a yellow green and so now if we mix yellow and orange I need a clean yellow Yellow and orange are going to make yellow orange. So I pick up my yellow, and I pick up my orange, mix it into my yellow. And I want just a little more yellow in that. Um there are kind of some precise recipes you can follow, like two dips into yellow, one dip into orange, um, that sort of thing. But I kind of eyeball it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just a little more orange. Yeah. Mix that in. So I picked up, just then I picked up a little extra orange instead of just the yellow orange because it was looking a little too yellow for, to see the variance between here and here. And now you're seeing that. Okay, so now for our third tertiary, we'll mix red and orange for a red orange. So I will, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do it right here. My red. My orange. Let's see if that gives us a big enough difference on paper. Yeah. Okay, so we have this really 
reddish orange here. Is this reminding me of Skittles? Do you guys like Skittles? Taste the rainbow. Like a juicy Skittle rainbow. Okay. So if we mix red and violet, we say the primary color first. So we'll have a red violet. And I'm just gonna do this right in my palette right here because things are drying up and Nope, I'm gonna have to add to it, okay. <laughs> um, which one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red. kind of a maroon color. Well, I know you guys will ask, this paper is a uh, Strathmore cold press Strathmore watercolor cold press paper 140 pounds it does pretty well okay moving on to our blue and violet together makes blue violet we got a nice grape color here blue violet And this is a big wedge. I told you I didn't make it exactly even. because that is not the same consistency. Almost an indigo. Well, it is an indigo because that's what indigo is. <laughs> okay, now we've got blue, green. So blue and green. Let's see, I need to make another green over here. Go back one more dip of blue. Okay, okay so that's going to give us a nice, oh, one of my favorite colors. I love a great teal. Free to move your paper around. Alright, 
there we have it. We have our tertiary watercolor wheel. So we've got our primaries, again, our yellow, red, and blue. And then we have our secondaries, which are made when we combine two primary colors. So red and yellow are orange, red and blue are violet, blue and yellow are green. And then our tertiary colors are when we mix a secondary color with a primary color. So red and violet makes red violet, violet or blue and violet make blue violet, blue and green make blue green, yellow and green make yellow green, and uh, yellow and orange make yellow orange, red orange make red orange. Okay, so now kind of the relationship on the color wheel. I'm gonna wash my brush off because I'm scared I'm gonna touch it to my, as I'm talking. Um, so within the color wheel, we have some relationships. So colors that are along the same spectrum, kind of on the same side, touching each other on the color wheel are called analogous colors. So colors that are touching each other on the color wheel are called analogous. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite of each other. So they, they contrast each other. So the complementary color of red and green, or red is green. Complementary of blue straight across is orange. Complementary of yellow is violet and so forth. Now, an interesting thing happens when we mix complementary colors that helps us make neutral colors. And neutral colors are kind of your browns, your grays, um, kind of your earth tone colors. See, these, these as they are are pretty vibrant, but if we start mixing them together, we get some interesting relationships. So let's, let's check that out down here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my palette here and I'm going to refresh from my paint palette over here. Um, oh, I grabbed yellow, but I wanted to start with red. So let me grab red and then I'll mix up another green. And again, this is just another way to show how you can mix so many colors just from three three colors as you've seen everything i've made so far i'm mixing right on this palette so i've got red and i need to mix up more green so let's see i've got yellow in there already i'll just add it to this one Okay, get some blue. A little too much blue. Back to my green. I meant back to my yellow. So I want that to be a nice, kind of even green. Oh, a little blue went up. So I've got my red and I've got my green and I've got red to green here. So we're going to mix complementary colors. Green is opposite of red on the color wheel. So that's what we're going to mix here. And as I, as I mix from red to green, you're going to see some really cool neutrals come out. So I'll, I'll need a little more red on here. I'm going to go full strength red first. Okay. And that's even a little richer than what I had up here. Um, 
not gonna I almost I almost washed my brush then we don't want to wash our brush yet I'm going straight into my green I've got red I'm loaded up with red already I'm gonna go one dip into the green and already we get a nice brick red okay I'm gonna go another dip into the green So now I'm going to start with my pure green on this side. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to gradually move from pure green into this um, kind of half and half red green. So my So look at that, just going from red to green. And I mean, I could keep going with different concentrations of each. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing from yellow to violet and from blue to orange. Okay, so there you go. Look at how many colors I just got from mixing just complementaries together. So this is where we get kind of more earth tones and that sort of thing. I could keep going and mixing and get some really incredible things happening with some grays if I were to go kind of this direction, um, kind of some mossy colors that we're mixing over on this side. Um, just so many incredible colors, just from three colors. It, it, color is just fascinating to me. <laughs> okay, so I obviously got caught up in the, um, just in the process and got totally distracted from this transition to here. I just went straight for the purple, full, full yellow, full purple. That should have been more in the middle, but it's fine. It's all about experimenting and learning um, just color relationships. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so I told you I would show you um, a more kind of modern color palette to do this. So I'm going to grab another sheet. I'm going to wash my palette, get some clean water, um, stick a new battery in my camera, and we'll move on to the second part. Okay, so I'm back. I've got clean water. I've cleaned my palette. I grabbed a clean paper towel, and I have another um, template ready to go. So in this first one, I used more richer primary colors. In this one, I'm going to kind of modernize it a little bit with some brighter, uh, brighter primary colors. So I want to try this bright opera. Um, so that would be my red and it's, it's kind of a pink magenta almost um magenta would be a little closer mm, in this range but for the sake of this 
I'm going to use Bright Opera. I'm going to use Lemon Yellow. And I think I'm going to use this Cerulean Blue. So if we combine these, I think we're going to have a lot richer colors. So we got lots of earth tone colors here. And even our um, color wheel is kind of flat or muted. So I want to see what happens if we make some of these brighter primary colors. So I'm going to start with lemon yellow, opera rose, and cerulean blue. Here I go. There we go. Okay, so you can see the difference by shifting the tone of my paint just a little. Well, okay, maybe a lot because that opera rose is a pretty stark difference, but same concept, two different outcomes. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going down here with the same red to green, yellow to violet, blue to orange um, combinations. So So we're left with two watercolor wheels and we have kind of a traditional, very rich, true red, blue, and yellow. And the secondary colors that we have and the tertiary colors and all the colors in between that we can get. And this isn't even all the colors. We could keep mixing different concentrations. We talked about that. And then the more modern with the more saturated opera rose, uh, Sorry, this was Bright Opera, yellow, lemon yellow, and uh, which blue was this? Cerulean blue. So I hope you found this helpful. Experiment with your own paints. Make your color wheel. Um, and yeah, keep mixing. Keep playing. That's what it's all about. If you like this video, as usual, please subscribe, comment, like this video. Let me know that you liked it, and we'll make more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye now.